your rules on what? Shut up! Sasha rules! Hi there. Vlog number five. I uh, didn't post the last two. Um, at least not yet. We'll wait. Give it a couple weeks at least. Or maybe a month. I don't know. Whenever I feel drunk enough to put that on the internet. Even though it's not all that bad, but, you know. Yes, I am. No, you're not. We're moving on to my rules. And I've had these rules since I think I was about 13. And these rules have proven very effective. They've only not worked on one man. One man only when I followed all my rules correctly. And it did not work on this one man. But out of the rest of them, it's been pretty foolproof. So I figured I'd share them with you guys today. And most of them are pretty simple. I have 12 of them. Pretty simple rules. Uh, sometimes it takes a lot of strength and a lot of heart to follow through with them. But, here we go. I'll start off with the most important number one rule that you should always use. And it is on the top. It's not on the top of the list. It starts like this. Do not call the guy. That's easy, right? Don't. None. Don't do it. Don't call him. If he wants to call you, he will. It's that plain and simple. I had this guy who I hadn't talked to in like three months. He lost my number. He called my work for three days straight until he got a hold of me because he wanted to talk to me. That's what a guy will do if he does want to talk to you. He will go that length. He'll do it. And if he doesn't, fuck it. Who wants a guy who can't go that far anyway? I mean, it's just a phone call, right? You know, don't give him excuses. There's no reason to give him excuses. If Phones have service everywhere besides for maybe New Mexico nowadays, but there should be no excuses not to pick up a damn phone. Number two is the second most important rule of them all. Do not have sex with guys you like. Sex is the almighty power that us women all have, right? And you better have one kung fu grip, hands full of steel on those balls to reel him in after your goodies are spent. That's our power. That's what we got. That's what we got to offer. After your goodies are spent, why even try? Although this rule has caused me some problems because what if you don't like the guy when you first sleep with him, right? Just a play toy. Just, you know, whatever. Maybe not a one night stand, but you know him for a couple weeks and you just know that he's not going to be yours or the one that you want, like when you know what you don't want. I guess it does. And anyway. So, what if you don't like him at the time? And then after you have sex with him, maybe he's really good in bed, and then you decide that you do like him. You're fucked. Like I said, you have to have one hell of like a brass steel grip on those balls to get him coming back. So time, time does heal. Time does heal all wounds. And then you can start over fresh. But then you got to think to yourself, is this piece of cock really worth it? Is it worth waiting all that time for? Because let me tell you, there's plenty of cock out there floating around, and you'll find yourself a new one. And I know you might be thinking to yourself, but this one really understands me, blah, 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 I don't know, whatever that other girl shit you guys all think about. No, you know what, there's another guy out there who's willing to do the exact damn thing he did. And he will. And if he doesn't, well then dump that one and find another one. It's that simple. It should be coming. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yo. Saturday to through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday. Y'all love you one day. Maybe we'll Sunday have some goes. But that's how you should apply it. Just like that. Rule number three. And this is like the top three out of all of them, right? Don't chew your gum twice. Right? When you get a when you get a piece of bubble gum out of a wrapper. You chew on it for like a good hour. Do you put it back in the wrapper? You know, roll it back up. Maybe put it behind your ear like the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory girl and say, mm, I think I'm going to chew this later. No, that's not what you do. You get out a new fucking piece and you chew that piece of gum. Don't chew your gum twice. Because if you do, say you sleep with this guy, you know, and it was a great night, right? But if you sleep with him again, you're either going to be considered A, a fuck buttery, fuck buttery buddy or be an easy lay neither of which you need 
also, if you know it's just sex and you're not going to be in a relationship with this one because he was not the one and that's why you had sex with him in the first place, right, ladies? Don't don't get this fucked up. That's why you had sex in the first place with them is because you didn't think there was going to be a relationship. Then why fuck him again? Get a new piece of gum. Don't chew the same gum twice. It's a life learned lesson. One that you should just in mind that sometimes when my mojo is down, I, uh... I tend to fuck up on my old rules, but then I realize why I made the rules in the first place, and I get back on that pony the right way. Rule number four is don't bring your play toys home to meet mom and dad. Most likely, they're not going to want to meet mom and dad anyway, you know, so wait, weed them out. We'd be very selective. Next thing you know, you're bringing home somebody and your family's going to get a little bit too attached. So why put them through that hell since they're just play toys, right? Right? They're just play toys. Don't do it. Alright, number five. When you go out, and he better be taking you out, because if he doesn't take you out to meet his friends, then you know you have a problem. Because he should be wanting to boast. Rule number five is look hot. And do separate from his side. What kind of guy wants some clingy little bitch in and around his leg, humping it the entire time? No, he wants a woman that can hold her own. A woman that can stand on her own two feet. You know, if you're scared of talking to guys, go talk to another fucking female. I don't care. You know, just don't stand there. Feel a tummy little mouse at his side the entire time. Excuse me. Rule six starts off with rule five. It's the same issue. Don't be clingy. So, with not being clingy, there's two things you have to do. Keep a separate mind and a separate life. You do these things to keep interest. You keep interest to keep the game rolling. Keep the game rolling because if you like this guy, that's what you need to do. Keep him on his toes at all points in time of the day. Keeping a separate life keeps them on their toes. Knowing that you can and you will move on very easily if he fucks up. This is a key principle that guys need to know that you will move on very easily and forget their name, forget they ever happened, and there'll be somebody else keeping you warm, you know, through the night, you know, cozy, whatever, whatever you like to do, cuddle, not cuddle, I'm not cuddling, special people get the cuddles, that's it. Seven is don't play with men who have girlfriends or strings in that matter because you could very easily end up as that string or that girlfriend that he's leaving you I like you to for. call it the green grass syndrome and it is a very sad mentally debilitating disease that refuses to relent I should know I have it I have it and I always think the grass is greener on the other side and it never is but I swear to god it it looks greener it looks greener to me so I just know that if he has strings fuck it you don't need that hassle find someone else who doesn't have strings no strings they always get in the way it's like puppeteers you know cut your puppet loose rule number eight is do always have another man readily handy because I don't give a, I don't give a shit if he's just a friend. You have no interest in him whatsoever. He can be there, you know, to help you move on, right? Yeah, help you move on. Uh, it's a known fact that the scent of another man is the best perfume to wear. It affects them on their subconscious. It makes them want to fight. So if he even sees you with that other man. Well, he'll know that you're wanted material and that he better step in the ball. And if not, like I said, fuck him. It's just stick, right? Best way to get over someone is get right underneath another, right? Rule nine is do be a wily temptress. Do something that will cease to erase you from his memory. This could be as simple as a slap. You know, just one of those little, a little, little love tap is what I like to call them. A bite. A simple kiss on the cheek. Or hell, even a wacky outfit that was like, wow, I can't believe she wore that. This is the seeds that will plant the tree of your mojo. 
It is the seeds of your essence. So get it all built up. Get it all looking nice. Rule 10. Sex is a battle. Love is a war. These are war games that you might not want to play. But that's how it works. You have to. That's how you got to keep your man in line. That's how you keep them on their toes. And if not, you know, maybe abuse. Maybe both these things. But definitely the first one. Abuse might come in handy the second time around, though. Rule 11 is don't get fat. No guy wants to be with a fat chick. Because they want somebody that all their friends can look at and go, Wow, she is a good-looking girl. This ceases other opportunities to come in and fill your crevice. Ugh, fuck their friends. This is a revenge tactic. Don't fuck their friends. Keep it all in check. Last rule of the Sasha rules is have no regrets. Right? Everything that you do builds on memory and builds on reasons why you keep up the rules. Have no regrets. Use it as a learning experience. You'll know it better in the future. And if you already have done this mistake once, well, fuck, maybe three times is the charm, right? Think of it this way. If it never... Shut up. Never have the if factor. Never have the if factor because if it should have happened. It would have. Should be easy as pie. Easy as cake. Easy peasy. So, if it's meant to happen, it will. That's the way you gotta look at it. Chase your dreams. Don't run after them. Chase them. But don't chase after a man. And don't fight for a man. He's not worth it. Go, you know, unless you're just totally into the game. You know, then you go right ahead. But don't get yourself caught up into it. Don't put your heart into it. Just brain. But most of you women can't do that. Hell, even I can't do that sometimes. So it's just not worth it. Might as well move on. So those were the rules. That's how it is. Time to have a little nightcap. Any night, guys.